same distance with two different speeds so that we can apply that situation now let's see how i can calculate what is the speed here in the first case that is the downstream speed and in the second case upstream speed so it is equals to 2 into s1 means downstream speed into upstream speed is y by downstream speed plus upstream speed so it is the formula 2xy by x plus y where x and y are downstream and upstream speeds respectively now let's see the questions how we can expect related to this generally they will ask a question like a boat is going a boat is going to a point to a point and then and then return now if it is having 12 kilometers per hour while going and 8 kilometers per hour in return find the average speed that means here what we need to understand is 12 is nothing but x downstream speed and 8 is upstream speed so we know that the average speed is equals to here 2xy by x plus y so 2 into 12 into 8 by 12 plus 8 so this is nothing but here 24 into 8 or 16 so 160 plus 32 so 192 by 20 so here you can calculate the speed as so when you take here 9 and 6 so 9.6 kilometers per hour so average speed become 9.6 in this case when it is going to a point and then return to the starting so this is how we can calculate the required average speed when the downstream speed and upstream speeds are given suppose instead of downstream speed and upstream speed i am saying here current rate current rate is 10 kilometers uh, current rate is 2 kilometers per hour and speed in still water speed in still water is 10 kilometers per hour <coughs> now excuse me so what we are having here is current rate and uh, speed in still water we don't have any current here downstream speed and upstream speed but this formula is related to here downstream speed and upstream speed so whenever you know current rate and downstream here speed in still water you can find out the downstream speed x as a plus b which is uh, 2 plus 10 12 kilometers per hour and whenever you know this so you can find here y value as a minus b which is 10 minus 2 so that is 8 kilometers per hour so in this way you can calculate those values and substitute here if not directly in the formula 2 into x plus means a plus b into a minus b by here a plus b plus a minus b directly you can substitute here whatever it is you will get if not sometimes we might be taking directly 2 into here a square minus b square by if you calculate 2 a 2 to get cancelled so it is equals to a square by b square by a even you can substitute in that equation also a square minus b square by a if not in the same 2 x y by x plus y by taking x y values first whatever it is it will be same because we are calculating x y values substituting there or we are writing the formula for x y values and taking that both will get as the same value so it's your choice if you want to substitute directly x y first calculate that and substitute if not a b values you can substitute now based on this concept they will ask some questions like the question will be a boat is going to a point a boat is going to a point which is which is at a distance of which is going at a distance 
of 48 kilometers 48 kilometers and then returns and then returns if it is taking if it is taking 8 hours if it is taking 8 hours all together if it is taking 8 hours all together find the speed while coming back coming back if it is having if it is having 15 kilometers per hour when it's going when it's going so this is the question so what they are asking is a boat is going to a point which is at a distance of 48 kilometers. So the boat is going from this point to another point which is at a distance of 48 kilometers. Now then uh, returns. So from that point it is coming back. Now if it is taking 8 hours all together. So it is taking here 8 hours all together. So going to that point and coming back. So all together it requires 8 hours. Now find the speed while coming back so when it's coming back i want the speed if it is having 15 kilometers per hour speed when it's going so now when it's going it is having 15 i want the speed when it's coming back now let's see what is the meaning of that suppose if you take the situation as it's going from the point a to b when it's going instead of a b let us take p q so that there is no confusion related to the speeds now it's going from the point p to q and while it's going it was having 15 kilometers per hour speed and we know that the distance is 48 kilometers now i want the speed while coming so this is the given information now suppose if we consider it as a river so when it's go going here it's having 15 and coming back let us consider here it's having some downstream speed so you can solve this question in two different ways one is by taking the basic concept as the time taken by the boat in covering 48 along the river or while going is in first case it is having t1 in the second case it is having t2 totally equals to 8 hours let us consider now what is t1 value here so time is nothing but distance by speed so distance is 48 by speed is 15 in first case plus now while coming back so the distance will be same 48 by here the value will be y because it's upstream speed so let us take some y is equals to 8 or you can consider any variable so when we solve this particular equation we will get the required answer suppose if i solve 48 by 15 is nothing but here when i cancel 3 so 16 by 5 if i take 8 this side so uh, plus 48 by y is equals to 8 now let's take here 48 by y is equals to 8 minus 16 by 5 so from this 40 minus 16 by 5 is equals to 48 by y so from this 48 by y is equals to here 24 by 5 so from this y is equals to 48 into 5 by 24 where y is equals to here 10 
so y is nothing but the speed while coming back so the speed of the boat while coming back is 10 kilometers per hour so this is how we can find out simply the time while going plus the time when coming back so total time is given as 8 hours so t1 plus t2 equals to 8 hours we know time is equal to distance by speed in first case distance 48 time 15 in second case distance is same 48 by here time is uh, speed is y so that we are getting time when we add these two and equals to 8 we can solve that equation and we'll get this is one way and the other way actually the boat is covering the same distance with two different speeds it is nothing but average speed so when it's covering here same distance with two average speed or two different speeds then the average speed is equals to average speed is equals to we know the total distance by total time total distance by total time is equals to 2s1 s2 by s1 plus s2 now let's substitute total distance 48 going and 48 coming back so 96 by total time it is given as 8 hours is equals to 2 into s1 speed while going it is let us consider 15 into s2 coming back so don't know let us take some y by here 15 plus y if you substitute in this formula you will get the same value for y so whatever it is you can use the concept of average speed or generally you can take here the meaning of this so whatever we follow we'll get the same answer so in this way whenever we are having the downstream speed upstream speed or current rate or speed in still water so you can understand the meaning of that and you can solve so here the important thing is you need to understand the meaning of uh, different speeds when you understand that you can substitute and will get the required values so it is all about boats and streams we discuss so when you understand that you can solve any questions thank you